Yeah, working for Apple TV Plus has been great. They really take care of you. I hope the party's pretty good. I hope it's a lot of fun. For me, getting to see friends and uh, uh, still be a part of the community is so fun. Um, but getting to work with my wife is the biggest blast. And I get to work with friends. So to go to a big, goofy, silly party that uh, uh, is not as important as it seems, but to see all your friends there and get to high five them and stuff, it's a blast. I'm so grateful to Zach and Jamie and Tim and Eddie and uh, Matt Chernus and Dan and the whole crew. Um, feels like a home to me because I have two shows that are on now and I have another show coming out with those guys in a few months. It makes me really, really happy. It's an amazing family to be a part of. It feels very um, artist forward and um, yeah, the whole network is doing really interesting things in a lot of different directions. I'm so grateful for, to Apple and the platform that they've given Severance and especially um, such a such a unique show. When we were making it, we were like, people are going to like this? This is very odd. And um, we've been so lucky that it's been received the way it has, and we're excited to get season two out into the world. I think it's exciting just because like our story is finally getting out. Like This is something that's been hidden from history for you know, 100 years and the fact that it's finally coming out and the Osage are finally getting a voice, I'm, I'm so excited about that. Well, I love it. We're going back to work in like 10 days and I'm super excited. Cast and crew worked so hard on this entire series. I was fortunate enough to come join for season three, so uh, I was I was happy to, to hop on an already speeding boat, and they welcomed me in with open arms, and I felt like I was part of the family from day one. So, I mean, I, I'm really just happy and proud of what we were able to do, the stories we were able to tackle, and the issues we were able to really bring light to. There's so many shows out right now, and to just be a blip in someone's brain is such a treasure and so I, I, I really value that, yeah. It's a bittersweet feeling, I don't know what to think, it's, um, it's been a, a beautiful journey, whatever happens after this, I'm forever grateful with Ted Lasso, with, with Jason, with Brendan, with Joe, with Bill, with the writers, with the fans. Um, for letting me be part of this. Danny Rojas will forever be in my heart. This has allowed me to discover many things about m myself, my life. Um, yeah, it's emotional. I want to meet Harrison Ford. I, he's, a, he's a hero shrinking. I cannot wait for season two. Um, he's awesome. And I hope, I'm sure he's in Ted Lasso. So I, I hope he sees me and both like, ah, Danny, or Chris, or whatever, or as, as long as he knows who I am. I'm here tonight with my Apple TV family and just to celebrate Apple TV with my For All Mankind cast. Oh my gosh, um, I'm such a big fan of Hannah Waddingham and just all of the Ted Lasso people. Um, oh my gosh, all of the morning show stars as well. I, I love Jennifer Aniston and Dries Witherspoon. I mean, just everybody really. They kind of took on Bad Sisters with a, a lot of um, a lot of, lot of passion and conviction and it was great to bring a story about five um, Irish sisters who are plotting to murder their brother-in-law to an international audience. So, And uh, yeah, there's a real um, sense of kind of high standards, high production values and um, kind of making the local international, which is great fun. Really, I mean, I think we got nominated for 22 Emmys, right? I think that's why we're here. Uh, and it was a lovely evening, really good, loved it. Well, all I can tell you is that working on an Apple TV Plus show, is they are so lovely to you here. Like everybody on Apple really, they look after us really, really, really well. It is like a little, you know, they say it's like a family. And it is, it's really sweet, it's really nice to be here.
I knew it was going to be an amazing hit, honestly, just because of the combination of like Marty, Leo, Robert De Niro. I mean, you can't go wrong with that trio, you know? But I think that the really cool thing is I don't know if everybody saw Lily coming, and she came in with a force. So I think she really helped in every way, especially bringing in Indian country into the, the Martin Scorsese fold that wasn't necessarily there before. Oh, it's been re really exciting. They've given us a lot of freedom to be both funny and dramatic all in the same show. And so uh, it's like, it's all the stuff that I love. It's like the tone of life. Um, cry through funny moments and laugh through hard ones. Uh, I'm just looking forward to unwinding and celebrating a lot of hard work. You know, yeah, it was great. It's really fun. Apple's sick. I love my Apple team and they really helped me get nominated to be honest. And thank you so much. I'm like, we start shrinking like this week. So this was the best motivation to kind of get back to work and play Gabby. We're here to celebrate all the amazing accomplishments from Apple's work that celebrated at the Emmys tonight. I'm very excited. I'm a fan myself. My good friend Durs, Anders Holm, is on Monarch, so I'm hoping that he is here. I love him. Big fan of Ted Lasso, Hannah Waddingham. That's my queen. Um, yeah, I pray to her. She doesn't know that I pray to her, but her Christmas special brings me joy. Apple TV is the best. I mean, we've got the best movies, we have the best TV shows, if I say so myself. We have the best actors. And, um, you know, Apple is known for excellence. And so it really makes a lot of sense for me as an actor. It's what we're striving for. Um, when we first got on the network, our show was the very first one, as you recall. Um, we heard a lot about what we're striving for is excellence. And I think that they, um, six years later, have done an extraordinary job. I'm excited to see the whole cast. I haven't seen anybody since the show, and now because of uh, the strike, the forbidden strike, uh, I haven't seen anyone, so it'll be nice to catch up and now, especially since the whole world mostly has gotten a chance to see the show. And I'm super excited to say, holy cow, they people love this show. I mean, we're sort of so indebted for how many people have sort of resonated with the show and sort of just truly grateful, really. You know, it's one of those things that might only come around once in your career to be involved in a show like this, but we're just very, very grateful for it. To work with Apple TV Plus has been phenomenal, really. I mean, they're kind of, you know, not just Ted Lasso, but there are so many great things on there that I've enjoyed, sort of independent of being involved with, you know, Apple. Um, for all mankind, I adore but all the kind of like more recent stuff, I think the most recent season of The Morning Show was terrific and yeah, it's, you know, it's a real treat. I also really enjoyed The Crowded Room. Well. They've got, they got shows like Hijack, they've got shows like, you know, oh, um, Bad Sisters, great, Bad Sisters, yeah. Silo, they've they got, yeah. they got some shows, man. Yeah. And you know, next year we're going to be seeing those. Slow Horses, Funny. brilliant show. There you go. I'm a huge fan of Severance. I mean, I think it's such a great show. Um, the guys from Ted Lasso do a fabulous job, and they're really fun to, to dance with and party with. So um, I think tonight will be a, a nice night. For All Mankind, my show is one of Apple's sort of initial flagship shows. Um, we have been with the network since the network existed, which is pretty cool to see it just grow and grow and grow. Um, every time there's an opportunity to celebrate the hard work of all of the artists and actors and directors is um, a fun time and a good night. They're keeping these scripts under lock and key, but uh, it's just going to throw you for a loop. You're going to be real surprised. Whatever you're expecting, you're wrong. That's pretty much all I can give you. We had a couple of nominations tonight, and Jessica and Jason, very well deserved, and just happy and here to celebrate them for their achievements. We're uh, uh, working on the morning show right now and, that, and season four, um, and um, enjoying a nice awards run for season three right now. Uh, Pachinko is coming back, and uh, this past year we also launched Extrapolations. Uh, and we have a, and a couple of other brewing with you guys, so we like working with Apple. 
it was not just a show it was an, an entire country because it was it was the uk and all of that and all my friends there i missed them so it's uh it was life-changing I, I miss it so much we've touched so many people with the show and uh now i enjoy football <laughs> you know you know i enjoy football um i enjoy the country of it also and so yeah it's just it's it's lovely it was a great experience We are here tonight celebrating all of the shows from Apple, Apple TV Plus. I know oh, I you're, gonna, you're gonna get no bigger fan than Shannon. No, I'm Shan a bit of a TV head. No, but, but I, tell I, me about all the shows that you well, love I at Apple TV Plus. I just finished Blackbird. I absolutely adored it, loved it. Uh, okay, uh, Bad, Bad Sisters. Oh, amazing. Incredible. Amazing show. amazing show. Oh my gosh, I watch everything on Apple. We had COVID and everybody was locked down and then we had the strike and so it's been a long time. You know, we're, we're still mid-season shooting uh, Severance season two. So I'm glad to get back to it with everybody and it's so nice to see everybody and it's beautiful. Now when anyone asks me anything about Severance, this inner Cobell, this inner Harmony Cobell sort of tough lady comes out of me and it's she's very deceptive let's just say I want to lie to you as soon as you ask me something this harmony comes out that's like hmm it's a little uh, savage she's really fun to play yeah I mean just to kind of look at the way that the mind gets twisted and warped in different ways <laughs> how, how human beings are it's quite a quite a thing <laughs> Apple TV Plus uh, came out swinging with uh, shows like Ted Lasso, and, and now I've gotten to be a small part of the family with Blackbird and The After Party, and uh, this Doug Lyman movie, The Instigators, which is hopefully coming out this year. So it's, uh, it's a good family to be in. They're making quality entertainment uh, for every type of person, and uh, I really hope I get to keep making cool stuff with Apple. It's been fun. Uh, spoiled, very spoiled individual. I got healthy kids, I got a beautiful wife, and I'm, I was able to take home a prize for uh, a really hard-fought show. Our cast and crew of Blackbird on Apple TV, they were unparalleled. This is, uh, this is the part where I just pull, I just pull no, no, Al Yankovic enough, in, enough. and I just say, when I was a child growing up in Saginaw, Michigan, I listened to Weird Al Yankovic's music like clockwork and saw him live in at the Clio Amphitheater in Clio, Michigan, front row. And I just want to say getting to meet him and run into him at all these award shows has been the highlight. Uh, that means more to me than any of <laughs> my, my feet were like about to be cut open and bleed from my loafers. They were cutting into my hobbit feet. So I had to kind of had to kind of take them off. I got to do a guest star on, on uh, the morning show uh, this year, so I was like, I was on Apple. <laughs>When Lessons in Chemistry came out, we didn't get to have uh, our premiere, so this will kind of be nice to see the cast and crew, hopefully some producers and stuff too that I've been wanting to see, so yeah, it'll be great. And to celebrate the Emmys, to celebrate story. It's exciting, honestly. It's like a momentous occasion because the finale of the show just came out for all mankind, so we're excited. It's like a little reunion. Also to celebrate all of the Apple shows tonight. There's so many great, great shows out there, so I'm happy.